Y'all, it's your boy Red Milwaukee 414, man, and I'm back once again, man. Straight from Snickers Color Line. I appreciate y'all coming through straight up. Yo, uh, first things first, man. If this is uh if this your first time checking me out, I very much appreciate you coming through. Uh, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell, man, so you guys get notified for all my new content when it comes through, for all the new reviews, uh, when we shoot the podcast and all that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, very much so. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into it, man. I don't want to waste no time. Uh, man, we have here the Air Max 90 Infrared OG Colorway. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. All right, y'all. So, like I said, man, we have here, uh, the Air Max 90 OG Colorway Infrared Joint. Uh, uh first things first, man, I get into a little bit of a story, right, before we get into the shoes. So, uh, these shoes came out on Monday. I'm shooting this now Tuesday night. Uh, you guys probably are not going to see this until maybe like Wednesday or Thursday or whatever like that. But anyway, um, yo, so uh, I go to the mall. Shout out to Ingram Mall here in San Antonio. I go to Ingram Mall around like 3.50, 3.55. Um, I'm not really expecting to be able to pick this up because all Monday, I'm seeing everybody and their mama on Instagram with they got ums and all that blah, 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 whatever, taking pics and all stuff like that or whatever. So, yo, I'm taking my chances like, but I'll go to the mall and see what's good. Now, at Ingram Mall, they have a JD Sports that used to be finish line, Foot Locker, Foot Action, uh, Shoe Palace, and a Champs. That's five sneaker spots. So, the first joint that I go to is JD Sports. JD actually has them. Uh, but they didn't have my size 13. They had only got one size 13 in their full size run that they had and it was gone The only pairs that they had left was like a Eight and a half and a nine. That's all they had left So I'm like, all right uh, So then I go to Foot Locker, which is right across the way from JD Sports Foot Locker didn't have them at all Boom Then I go downstairs to uh, Foot Action. Foot Action didn't have them at all Boom so then I go to Shoe Palace next. Shoe Palace didn't have them at all. So now I'm like, yo, if all these places didn't have them, and if Foot Locker most definitely didn't have them, why would Champs have them? But I take my chances anyway. I go to Champs, last place. I walk right in, and they're sitting right there. So I'm like, yo, y'all got these in the size 13? And uh, I don't, uh, it was a short guy. I don't know if he was the manager or not. He was like, yo, did you call earlier? And I was like, no, no, I, I didn't call earlier or whatever. He was like, oh, okay. So boom, in my head, I'm like, dang, you know what? I did call earlier. <laughs> so he was like, no, no, the reason why I'm asking because your dude called earlier. Uh, we told him that we would put it on hold until 4 o'clock. And he was like, yo, it's basically 4 o'clock right now. At that time, it was like 3.55 or something, right? So he was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Dude never came and we gave him till 4 o'clock. So since he... You know, it's almost four o'clock. If you want them, you know what I'm saying, you can get them. So I was like, all right, bet. And that's how I was able to get these joints, man. So shout out to Champs. Uh, most definitely at Ingram. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I, I'm I'm very happy to actually have these uh, in my collection. This takes me back to a childhood, straight up. Uh, takes me back to 1990. Uh, Y'all see the box, plain Jane joint. This is how it used to be back in the day. Nothing special, uh, you know what I'm saying? You just got that Nike Air right there in the corner. Straight, all orange box. Nothing crazy about this at all. Trademarking on the bottom as usual. You got um, Air Max 3. Style code is CT1685-100. Size 13. Uh, retail price is 140 on these. Um, and then one, so that's on the style, you know, on the size tag right there, right? But then they did some OG stuff where they got also on the back here, Air Max. Uh, then they have number 2409. And they also have a uh, colorway white, black, cool gray, radiant red. So this is the true um, style, how they used to have it back in the day. This is, this is how they used to have basically like the tag on the joint. Like that back in the day, 
not like this new style. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, they didn't have it like this. It was like this back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then even for the colorways, they have white, black, cool, gray for the new size tag, or whatever. They don't even have the radiant red, even though the infrared or that radiant red should be on there. Uh, but everything about this shoe is OG, man. I, I I can appreciate all this. Like inside the inside the box, they had the you know the art supports. They don't do stuff like this no more. They they don't. They don't do stuff like this. Uh, they used to have these in all the runs where they had the, the you know the support cushions separately, and uh, you know what I'm saying they had these in there. They had this little card, little brochure joint on the inside there from Nike, showing the whole collection on the inside. You know what I'm saying for the windbreaker suits, and they have the women's fit and the men's fit, and they also have the infrared, you know, the men's shoe, and then they have the women's colorway, which is that pink like that hot pink and that uh and the blue on there and they got the fits to match it this is how they used to do it back in the day yo this is how they used to do it you know what i'm saying and they got you know they, they got the styles and everything the, the style numbers and everything to go with the um you know with the shoes and the fits and all that whatnot and then um it used to be you know easy where you could just call nike yo like that's how it used to be back in the day they got it on the back you know they got the address phone number everything on the back here. So this is how it used to be back in the day. That, that's how they used to do it. Shout out to Nike, man. Doing everything OG style on this one. Taking it back. I very much can appreciate that. And boom. God damn. Boom. There we go, man. The Air Max 90. What? Or I'm sorry, the Air Max 3. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Or, you know, nowadays we call them the Air Max 90 because these came out in 1990. With the Air Max 90 infrared OG colorway, uh, uh, everything about this sneaker is on point. Literally, everything about this sneaker is on point, man. Uh, uh, I can appreciate this. They didn't change nothing or try to update it. They went back to 1990 and, and legit brought back 1990 about everything about this presentation from the box, the art supports. Uh, the you know the little uh brochure card in there, uh, everything everything legit. So um, you have here uh the the, the thick plastic uh you know hang tag joint that you turn into your keychain or you put you know what I'm saying on your rearview mirror in your car back in the day, uh you know what I'm saying. So they got that the OG joint, and then uh man just everything about the the shoe the materials everything. You got the Nike Air Max. You know, on the tongue, Nike in the infrared. Uh, you also got on, on the inside the size tagging, how they used to do it back in the day, back in 90, on the inside of the tongue right there. Also, as well, which is a nice touch, is that they put size 13 also as well on the inside side panel right there. The insole is in that infrared with, uh, with Nike Air and white. And then, uh, yo, you got the uh, canvas on the toe box, that OG canvas on the toe box there. OG canvas on the toe box there. And then you also have it wrapped around the heel panel in the back as well. Uh, everything about this shoe is just, yo, is is literally like the original joint, yo. Like there's, there's, there's nothing that they didn't, you know, uh, not do. I very much can appreciate this for real, for real, man. This, this, this shoe was dope. This shoe was dope, man. You got, uh, you know, you got a full grain leather, you know, in black wrapped around um, the shoe and on the inside there on the mid panel. And then also as well in the gray panels right there. I don't even know what material to even call this, man. Um, but it's, it's more like a cotton based, um, you know, with the swoosh and that because it's, it's, it's not a new burka suede. This, they they went on some OG stuff, yo. And yo, another thing about this too, about the sneaker, if you do get the sneaker, if you do, or, or if you have the sneaker, right? Um, I really advise that you invest into some crap protect or some Jason Mark or whatever, um, some repellent spray, because these will easily get dirty. You know what I'm saying? When you when you out walking, kicking it, whatever like that, rocking these, uh, because yo, everything about this is very much OG. These easily get dirty. So very much, you know what I'm saying? Spray these down before you go kicking it. 
uh, you know, you be out in the streets with these, so you you know you can preserve your pairs. Um, but y'all, let me know what y'all think about these, man. Uh, I, I very much have no complaints, no glue marks, no stains, no nothing like that. Uh, my pair, yo, is flawless victory, straight up. So, but y'all, let me know what y'all think about these, man. Um, do you guys like these? Um, did you guys strike out, you know, in your size or whatever like that? Are they sitting in your mall just because they wasn't sitting? You know what I'm saying? Out here for me in San Antonio, um, where I'm at, that doesn't mean that they're not sitting for you or whatever like that. But I know a lot of people pick these up. They've been selling out. Uh, and then it just depends on your size and too as well, man. You know, like I said, um, if a store did have them, they only got one size 13. So, you know, I, I, know, I know some people that were like 14s, 15s, they didn't, wasn't able to get these at all. You know, so um, most definitely, y'all let me know what y'all think about these, man. I have no complaints though, straight up. The, everything about this shoe, it it is legit 1990. Like they they didn't cut no corners on nothing, even all the way down to like I said, the art supports and the brochure. You know, little card, man. They did their thing on this, man. I can appreciate everything about this sneaker, the box, uh, the presentation, everything. Um, so but y'all let me know what y'all think though. I rambled enough, man. Uh, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys like the dad hat that I have on, man, make sneaker culture great again. Make sure that you guys check out sneakerheadscolorline.com. Uh, we released this hat on Saturday. We released it on Saturday. And we almost sold out basically the day of on Saturday. I think we have like less than five. I think we have less than five hats left. So if you guys like what you see, Make sure that you guys check out sneakerheadscoverline.com. Uh, hopefully, you know, you're able to pick one of our last ones up because uh, they have been selling out. Um, so, and we have some different hats, you know, that are releasing also as well. But, yo, um, if you like what I got out, you know, what I got on, though, make sure that you guys check out the website. Uh, shout out the Word, Danny, um, and Hella Laced. Uh, I have their latest Mature Kids T on. I saw this, I saw this when they posted it maybe like two weeks ago. Uh, I hit up word. I said, y'all like that T, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? So we made it do what it do and took care of that business transaction. Uh, full price, don't cut no corners. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, to, to support uh, my peoples. Uh, yo, so if y'all like this T uh, very much, you know what I'm saying? Check out the Mature Kids. Their show on YouTube is every Sunday around 730 Central. Uh, so make sure you guys check them out on Instagram and also as well, their podcast, their show is every Sunday on YouTube. So make sure you, you guys check that out. Um, yeah, man, I got, I got more videos coming through, uh, early reviews, all that good stuff, man. I'm back in my bag. I'm back in my bag. You feel me? So, uh, if you guys like what you're seeing, I very much appreciate y'all coming through. Uh, make sure that you guys, once again, if this is your first time, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, yo, stop playing around. Yo, hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Uh, yo, uh, <laughs> I'm dropping. I'm dropping bangers. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let me know what y'all know what's up. You know, let me know what's up in the comment section. Uh, and I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Peace.